Hello, we are busy with linear programming and this example is about drawing inequalities to find a region. Okay, they tell you to that you must draw a Cartesian plane to show the region which is defined by inequalities 1, 2 and 3 by shading the unwanted region. You must then label your region R. Okay, so number one, importantly, you must realize that we have got three inequalities, so we will have three lines in the Cartesian plane. Step one, to be able to draw this inequality, you must first calculate coordinates, which you can plot so that you find the line. Now, to find coordinates, importantly, we change the inequality to an equation, okay? And we already learned that we calculate two coordinates, one where y is zero and one where x is zero, okay? So you use your equation, you substitute the zero in the place of y, you then calculate the value for x, so x is three. This coordinate is then three, zero, which you can plot. Then in the second one, you make x zero. So again, write your equation, put the zero in the place of x, okay, substitute x, calculate y, and you now found the coordinate zero, four. Okay, you are done with two coordinates. That is enough for the first inequality. Okay, then the second one, which y equal is less then 3x for the second equation again make that an equation because we have no c value we know that that goes through the origin 0 0 okay which means you will get only one coordinate if you use the y equals 0 and x equals 0 therefore we are just simply going to use the table method Okay, and remember in the table method, you have your x-coordinate for which you choose any three values. It does not matter which ones. Usually we use one negative, the 0 and 1. And for those, you then calculate your y-values. How do we do that? We take our equation, y equals 3x, okay? And then in the first place, we're going to substitute x with negative 1. So that's 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. Okay, so negative 3. Then you will substitute the x with 0, then you will find that y is 0, and then you will substitute the x with 1, and you will find that y equals 3. So for the second equation, we've got three coordinates which we can plot. Then the third inequality is given as y is greater than 0, okay? So you again make y equals 0. By now, people, you should know that that cuts the y-axis at 0, so therefore it's the x-axis. So step number one, you calculate coordinates so that you can actually draw lines for each of these inequalities. So that is now step number two. You draw the inequality and you shade the unwanted region. So if we look at the first example, we must plot 3, 0 and 0, 4, okay? We are going to plot 3, 0 and 0, 4, okay? Now importantly, you must look at the inequality. The inequality is less than or equals to. Because it's equals to, it's a solid line, very important. Now. And then you must now shade the unwanted region. Now remember, this says less than or equals. So the wanted region is below that line. Okay? It's less than. Less than is always below. Right? Therefore, the unwanted region is above. That is why we then shade this area. Okay? If we look at the second one, we can plot the points negative 1, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, and 3, all right? And if you look at that one, here goes the line, right? You have plotted 3, 1, or 1, 3, okay, 0, 0, and negative 1, negative 3. 
Now again, go to your inequality. Y is less than 3x, meaning there is no equals to, therefore, it must be a dotted line. Importantly, it is less than, it must be a dotted line. Okay, then again, if you look at the inequality, it says less than, so less than should be below, again, importantly, the wanted region is below, we shade the unwanted region, therefore, we shade it upwards, okay, so shading is done upwards. Then the last inequality, where x is greater than 0, Firstly, there is no equals, so it must be a dotted line. We said it is the x-axis, right? Y, I, y is greater than 0, sorry. It cuts the x-axis. Therefore, it is going to be on the x-axis. Now, and y must be greater than. Greater than people, again, would be to the top, but we shade the unwanted region, which means we shade to the bottom. And if you now look, you can clearly see that this little triangle is not shaded, okay? So that is the region that you must label R. Right, so I go through the steps. Firstly, you must calculate coordinates, right, for each of the inequalities. Remember to do that, we make that an equation. We use in most cases the y equals 0 and x equals 0, okay, to find two coordinates, that is then in most cases, but in some cases, people, you can use the table method, which means you choose any of the x values to calculate the y values. Right, that's calculating coordinates. In step two, you draw each inequality and remember to shade the unwanted region. In the inequality, you must ensure that if it is less than, greater than, and equal, then you must use a solid line. If it is only less than and no equal, then it must be a dotted line. And each time, people, first look at your sign, find the wanted region, and shade the opposite region. Okay? I repeat, find the wanted region from your inequality, and then you shade the opposite region. All right? And then in this case, we found the area R, which is not shaded. So that is the area that is defined by these three inequalities.